going on, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in to Ben Travels TV. And coming up next, we head to Little Haiti in Miami, Florida to check out one of the most popular Haitian restaurants in Florida called Chef Creole. You guys got to stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, welcome back to my channel. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Okay, as you guys can see, we are in Miami, Florida, and we're headed to Little Haiti, a popular Haitian neighborhood to try out one of the most popular and one of the best Haitian restaurants in Little Haiti, and that is Chef Creole. All right, you guys, we're going to have some Haitian cuisine. I'm going to give you guys a tour of the restaurant and we're going to check out a few of its locations. And as you can see here, this is the popular location located on 200 Northwest 54th Street in Little Haiti. All right. This is a restaurant that's owned. There's about six different locations owned by Wilkinson Sejour, right? He was born in the Bahamas to Haitian parents. Okay. So, um, as you guys can see, this is the other location, 1392 Northwest 119th Street. Okay, this is one of the older locations located in North Miami. And we are linking up with my younger brother. Uh, he is here in Miami, Florida. He lives here. He resides here, just like he resides in San Diego, California. If you guys seen him on the previous episodes where we were out in Carlsbad, san diego we went to the zoo and things like that you guys can watch those videos but today we are going to chef creole and we're gonna enjoy some delicious haitian food <clears throat> All right, so let's talk a little bit about Little Haiti. Okay, so it's a neighborhood in Miami, Florida. It is known historically as Lemon City, Little River, and Edison. It is home to Haitian immigrant residents as well as residents from the rest of the Caribbean. Little Haiti is a known neighborhood of Haitian exiles. The area is characterized by its French Creole designations with its street life, restaurants, art galleries, dance, music, theater performances, family owned enterprises and other cultural activities. It's steeped in the complex and rich cultural histories of Caribbean immigrants who brought life to its area. Little Haiti has evolved into a colorful beacon in Miami's art communities. Throughout the years, small businesses like celebrated record stores, of course, Chef Creole, lots of restaurants and bakeries. They're known as some great bakers and hard workers throughout the community. Okay, authentic eateries have eased into the neighborhood, creating their own particular patchwork within the already distinct Little River and Lemon City. All right, they also have a bronze statue of General Toussaint. Um, you can check out the artwork, the murals all over Little Haiti. This is a beautiful neighborhood, great people. I love the Haitian people. I love the Haitian culture. And that is what I love about Florida and particularly Miami, Florida is the culture of all the people.
also fish. I like to try this one. Snapper. Absolutely delicious. I will go into detail on every item we ordered and give my review. But first, let's talk a little bit about Chef Creole and the chef and owner, Wilkinson Sejour. Okay. He's grabbed his native Creole cuisine by the fishtail and created an island of dishes for food connoisseurs. Born in the Bahamas to Haitian parents, Wilkinson has taken the best of the Caribbean and added a Creole twist. His culinary interest started when he was just a boy, helping out with his father and his grandfather's seafood market. Observing their techniques for cleaning, spicing, and cooking seafood laid the foundation for his career in food preparation. All right, so over the years, Wilkinson began to stir up Creole recipes while mixing in flavors from all over the Caribbean, combining flavors not learned from culinary school, but from his family's kitchen. Okay, his knack for cooking and love of spices eventually became his passion and led him to open his first restaurant, Chef Creole Seafood and Catering Restaurant with his late brother, Jude, 29 years ago. All right, so... As you can see, it's one of the most popular restaurants, Caribbean restaurants in all of Florida. He also has, I think, about six locations. One location at the airport, I think, is his newest location. And from celebrities to locals, they absolutely love Chef Creole. Okay, now uh, let's go into what we ordered when we came here. All right, so this is my first time at Chef Creole in Miami, Florida. I'm going to give you my review. I had a Haitian drink there, the watermelon flavor i had to have something uh juicy something fruity to go with my fried red snapper i had sweet plantains i had the haitian rice and beans and the delicious oxtail as well my wife had the shrimp creole she also had the haitian rice and beans and the sweet plantains my brother ordered the popular haitian dish griot which is fried pork shoulder and they give you a side of spicy vinegar veggie mix which adds to the taste of the meat or fish all right my kids uh haitian rice and beans fried chicken and french fries of course for the kids but what i will say is the dishes were all very delicious especially the shrimp creole and that fried red snapper was fried to the tea with lots of flavor the plantains were delicious the rice and beans the veggies absolutely delicious but if you're ever in little haiti visit the little haiti cultural center as well and you got to visit chef creole let's take a look at some of the celebs who come here uh -uh. All right, now what makes Chef Creole and as you see the airport location here and the owner here and chef Wilkinson Sejour so popular is that he's very involved in the community. That's why he gets a lot of support from the city, from the mayor, from Dade County, even Broward County he has six locations in South Florida. He's serving up all the flavors of the Caribbean pretty much, right? You have bohemian dishes, conch is, is very big here. You have the oxtail, you have Jamaican dishes, you have, of course, the popular Haitian, Haitian Creole dishes. You have all those flavors which infuse the culture of South Florida and Florida in general, especially in the Miami area and Little Haiti, Liberty City, and Miami, Florida. You guys gotta check it out. All right, so as you can see, we're just hanging out there in the restaurant before we head out to the beaches in Miami. But what I wanna say is that the chef here, Wilkinson Sejour, he's very involved in the community. The Little Haiti Culture Center has tons of events, right? Haitian Creole cuisine, you have tons of events, music, the, like I said, the food, the art galleries, the culture is huge uh, with 
the Haitians of Little Haiti. So you definitely got to check out the Little Haiti Culture Center when you come to Miami. Now, as far as the food, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 because that red snapper was absolutely delicious. The Haitian rice and beans, like a kidney bean, the griot, the shrimp creole was absolutely mind blowing. Probably the best shrimp I have ever had in my life. 10 out of 10 for Chef Creole. And the oxtail was really good along with the sweet plantains as well. But all right, you guys, this video's come to an end. I'm gonna close it out with a quick feature on the chef from Local 10 ABC Miami. We'll see you in Wynwood, Florida on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm out. And one of South Florida's top chefs honored for his for Haitian Heritage Month. Top celebrity chefs came out to celebrate one of their peeps. Wilkinson Seju, also known as Chef Creole, <laughs> on Haitian Flag Day in Little Haiti. Those in attendance got to enjoy some great food, music, and culture. Chef Creole was also given recognition from the city of Miami, Miami and Miami-Dade County, as well as the key to Little Haiti. And Chef Creole is a big family. It's not just me, because of what we've done in our community and what we're going to continue doing. Chef Creole has made contributions to South Florida's culinary arts scene for the past 25 years. He owns and operates five restaurants in Miami, including one at Miami International Airport. And during the government shutdown, he fed uh, gov the, the federal workers there for free. Not only a great guy, he was a terrific food. Yes, oh yes. And he, we've had, he's been a guest on our show many times. Many, many.